learning how to be general. <laughs> that might benefit you in some bizarre way. Okay, wrong way, turn it the other way. There we go. Did that sound patronising? Only mildly. It wasn't. Hello YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so there are no there are no pubs at all. Hello, oh, yeah. So if you want a beer, the first person to see on board. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I hope she put her knickers away. Oh wow. She lives in a house like that. Oh. Morning. Uh, you join us on T plus two. So today will be our second day. Second first. Uh, second first. Our second full day of cruising. Um, woke up this morning to a notice from the CRT crew telling us that bridge 221, which is Albury's lift bridge, is currently closed due to a technical fault. The bridge is out of use. Needless to say, we're south of Albury lift bridge, so we're near to bridge, we're in between bridges 229 and 228. Um, 221 is at a place called Throp, which um, very nice Ian, who we met uh, last night, suggested would be an excellent place to moor. Um, but he said it was only an hour away. It was if we can get to the lift bridge and meet the contractors and just ask them what the problem is. They may say they'll have it fixed in 10 minutes and we're on our way. They may say, no, it's you know, two weeks worth of a repair. Um, and it's a problem. So that, anyway, that's that's the plan. Um, get going shortly. Get ourselves up to Throp. And see what um, see what see what the score is there. It was interesting last night sleeping on the boat. Um, this is the first night we've slept on narrow boat Josh on the proper towpath. Um, and it's weird, five, five, half five, six o'clock in the morning, the runners start coming out and um, my gosh, they sound like gigantors as they <laughs> run past the boat. I suppose they're only, what are they, two, three feet away from your bedroom window and their feet are at your sort of head height. So it literally, they sound absolutely massive when they come whizzing, um, come whizzing past. Um, just thinking about temperatures, um, I'm sure Sue will tell you, but um, she's finding it quite cold on the boat in the morning, even though the weather's pleasant during the day. I think she said the thermometer in the boat said 7 degrees. I think the th thermometer might be uh, might be broken, actually. Yeah, looking forward to today, actually. I just feel that now we're on the canal, we're on familiar territory. The locks should just be locks. We've done our first lift bridge. Haven't done a swing bridge yet. Um, yeah, I just feel that we can just cruise. Oh, hang on, look who I'm uh, accompanied by. Her Majesty. Abel Seymour. <laughs> okay. Not so Abel. <laughs> Not so Abel Seymour. How's the temperature Ooh. on the boat? Oh, I'll tell you what, you come outside for a warm, don't you? <laughs> Oh my word, it's freezing inside. Not well, it's not freezing. Not it's not far off. Seven degrees. Apparently. According uh, to the thermometer. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not <laughs> like I made it up. It is seven degrees. So it, it is actually warmer outside than inside. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was a lot less condensation on the boat this morning, wasn't there? Like, uh, when we were on the Thames, woke up in the morning and it was all over the windows first thing we had to do was just go around the boat just um e-clotting all the windows to get the condensation off there was much much less of it last uh, this morning so not sure why that should be but got to say this morning spot was good wasn't it yeah brilliant this is um this is kind of boating for me this is where i want to be i know you're yeah. more keen to go to cities than i am and i'm just i just want to be here out in the in the countryside hearing the birds and yeah just seeing the views, not... Actually, one thing, if you've never been boating before, um, that there are loads and loads of spiders, um, but the place they hide is in your roller blinds. <laughs> so I was over... I've if opened... only that was the... If that was a rule and that was the only place they went, that would be all right, because you know where to find them. Oh, well, you, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so I was in the bathroom and I opened the roller blind and literally one of the uh, sizes... Uh, 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 one the size of a small crab fell out. Luckily it fell into the sink. It filled the sinks. So we've got a tiny, tiny sink. 
It filled um, the sink. It did, filled the sink, and that, that was the end of him. Um, but that, yeah, that's where they hide. Um, that and inside your pillowcases. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. That's why I do spider check. Yeah. Learned that off, uh, off Pete and Sharon. They do spider check every night, don't they? Check under the pillows after they had that scare of a massive bomb. Oh no, stop talking about that. Yeah. Right, let's get ready to rock. I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, dip the diesel first and then we'll, uh, then we're ready to rock. Oh, to dip diesel, we don't have a fuel gauge. I don't know if that's normal <laughs> or not. Oh, it's so we have this, which is a fuel. What, you stick that in the tank? Yeah, literally, yeah. Does it not smell of diesel? It's not. No, not really. No, it doesn't. This is an official Canal and River Trust. Um, <laughs> Piece of big <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Morning. Hi. So, right, so what we do is um, down here somewhere, I saw Boat Greg do this once. Where are it? Oh, it's, yeah, it's there. Sorry. Let's find this here fuel flap. It's going well. Um, yeah, he just sort of lifts this off. I would have thought you need a better fuel tank than that, uh, cap, <laughs> so we might have to look at that which is fashioned from a plastic something and an old roll of... Uh... Oh, that's not even a proper cap, that is no, it? No. So I think we can do better. And then I... Yeah. I don't know if I can see. It's all right, right, I'll bring it out. And that's how we know how much fuel we've got. So, so I don't know what max... I don't know what max... The... Yeah, I don't know what maximum is. What I would say is that there is some sort of groove cut in the wood there. Um, You're dripping diesel on my nice lawn. What did Thingy say? C take your diesel off the lawn. <laughs> Sucking diesel, there you go. Sucking diesel. Oh, uh, we need Jonathan to do that. Yeah, we do. We need he does some, a cracking uh, um, Ted. impersonation of Ted Hastings <laughs> from uh, Line of Duty. Fella, fella. <laughs> I obviously don't, as you've noticed. So what we'll do is we'll mark that up, even though it's gouged, and then all that's going to tell us is how much we've used in a day. Yeah, which won't necessarily be the same every day. Does that? Oh no, but that's still useful, isn't it? Because if we know that we've used that much, and you know, then yeah. we know how many days of cruising there is left in that. We don't want to run the thing wet, dry, dry. Um, <laughs> For a couple of reasons. One, we don't want to run out of fuel, duh. And secondly, apparently these bad. engines don't like it. Um, so you don't want that they're quite sensitive, I'm told, to quality of diesel. I'll tell you what the engine is after. Because so I we can't don't... remember. It's a B no, it's a BMC Tempest 1.5 diesel. And we don't know where we can get fuel, do we yet? No. <laughs> this is what happens when you script nothing. Anyway, we'll just have to see, won't we? We've got, we've got, that's a chunk of fuel. Okay, chunk. Chunk, there you go, that's a measure. It's a but, chunk, it's a chunk of fuel. Right. It's a lozenge of fuel. Pre-flight checks, so I'll check the engine level and all that jazz and then we can get, get going. This is what's known as a dipstick, looking for a dipstick. Oh, found it. We need an oil change at some point. Is it meant to be? Oh, it's, is it below minimum? Don't know. We'll find out now. Well, Greg checked it the other day, didn't he? Yeah, he left it halfway between max and mid, which is exactly oh. where it is. So we've not used any oil, so that's a good start. Do we have oil on board? We do have oil on board. Guess where it is? Is it in the well deck? It's in the well deck. <laughs> Okay, so we've done that. I checked the water last night, and so the engine won't have used any because we haven't run it. You greased your stern gland. <laughs> uh, I have greased my stern gland. Yeah, I think we're good to go, actually. I think the glow plugs are going to need a bit of a bit of a workout this morning, just given it was cold overnight. MB Josh, ready to rock. I don't know what that was. Yeah. 
cut. What a tool. What a tool. So this is our first um, first lot completely on our own, which is good and bad. Good because there's no one around to see if we mess it up, but bad because there's no one here to help us if we can't do it. Here comes Captain Pugwash. Straight in, look at that. Like a pro. Fancy seeing you here. So you've done your bit. You've got nearly, it in. Nearly. <laughs> Straight in, no touching. There we go, you see. Now we have to see if I've got the uh, power to close the gate. Do the other side first, aren't I? Because then I'm not going to be able to get across to do that side. to do a little bit a little bit to um to get it going i'm gonna do it a bit more because that's not really working is it just waiting for this all to level up look at incel into himself <laughs> What a little cutie. <laughs> I think we're ready to go. Are you ready? We're having the mic all taken out, are you not? No, no it's just yeah. saying what a little cutie. Huh? What a little cutie. Is that what you're uh, Yeah, anyway, we're good to go. Do you want me some? Yeah, you can do. We'll, uh pick you up on um, just past the uh, past the railings yeah my angel don't tell her I said so but she's a good one
reinforcements. She's enlisting the help of a nice chap. Everyone's so helpful. Just, uh, for the enjoying. What they say, many hands. I've had a, a bit of help from this young gentleman. <laughs>
stop just before that bridge. Just get the map out and uh, yeah. Okay. We'll have a look, see what turns, uh, see what the plan is. Right, so we've landed in Throp and got the, there's a lovely looking pub just there which uh, we may well get to frequent. Not quite sure what we're doing yet, but the uh, we're in a mooring spot, 48, 48 hours mooring spot. So we're just going to take a walk up the towpath and see if we can find out whatever this restriction is that's been discussed and or notified on the CRT website and then just work out what we can and can't do from here. Oh, in the meanwhile, Sue's found a single swan. So she finds it's very sad. I think his mate's just somewhere else, chilling. That's the answer, isn't it? How are you doing? How are you doing, Tiger? You okay? Well, I've got to say, that's mildly aggressive, isn't it? It's only saying hello. And strictly speaking, you've you came over here. That's why he's on his Todd. Huh? That's why he's on his Todd. Why? Just pissed at me. Oh, let me see what I can find. Does swans eat bread? Is it just dogs? I don't know. This one will reject your bread, there'll be something wrong with it, you'll get hissed at. Uh, bran flakes, you like Kellogg's bran flakes? It's fruit and fibre actually, but what should we say? Oh, we're not hurting him, like we're trying to help, aren't we? But... I think we're okay. Seems happy enough. Just one whisperer. Yeah, that's you. Yeah. How much money does it take to uh, to fill up a swan? <laughs> I don't know, but we. I think we might. We probably haven't got enough of this left for the rest of the time we're here. Uh, she says that she's lobbing it to the swan. I know, but we can have bananas. Things, can't we? Eggs Benedict, that's what we can have. We need some ingredients. Oh, we've, we've got ham, I could improvise with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go on further and do a bacon uh, bacon sandwich, that'd be nice. <laughs> You're getting a ham sandwich. You're getting a ham tomato sandwich for your lunch today. Sounds like it's the only thing I'm going to be eating for the next two days. Right, last one. Two days. Right. That's that's incredibly great. We're going for a wander. Let's go for a wander. These are obviously private mooring spots, but look, they've even got electricity. <laughs> Some patina on this bad boy. This looks fabulous down here, look at that. Okay, so we've just had a boat pass us and um, we asked whether the lift bridge was working and she said, oh yeah, you just need a key, as if, you know, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not sure what all the CRT stuff this morning about the lift bridge being out of action, all that jazz was. So maybe someone's come down and just gone, no, it's fine. Just put two screws in it there and uh, Put a sticker on it and we're we're sorted. But it looks like uh, looks like we're open, ready for action. This is lovely. This one isn't it? It's sapphire. apprehensive there's a lift bridge and we've seen a uh, little bit of traffic 
quite looking forward to holding some traffic up actually. Oh wowzers. Who lives in a house like that? Oh. The answer, a very jammy sausage. Wow. Bag stuff. I assume there's now some points in here then, is it? Order on duty, book club. Canal cruising clubs, that's something to do with this. This area here, is that? start with just taking the footage and we haven't actually put it all together yet so uh, watch this space <laughs> what, what are you going to call it then? Well, I don't, we haven't decided actually we oh, just okay. thought look we're um we only bought the boat three days ago so we said look, let's get the footage in the bag and then uh do some furious back filling <laughs> if the stuff's any good Learning how to be general. <laughs> that might benefit you in some bizarre way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, wrong way. Turn it the other way. There we go. Did that sound patronising? It wasn't. Only mildly, it wasn't but meant it's to be. all right. We uh, we're not said, being filmed, are we? Yes. We're here to learn. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> we might be are you putting one. it on YouTube? We, do you know, we just might actually. It's um. We've been recording everything, haven't we? It for ourselves. Which is everything. Mm. You're gonna get lobbed off. Can I get a nose on board? Yeah, yeah, no problem. First person to see on board. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I hope she put her knickers away. So is it... Yeah, it's somebody else's uh, version of clean, is this? Okay, <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'm refitting mine completely. Okay, just ready to set off. There's the lift bridge behind us. We've used the LSAN facilities and emptied the, uh, the I don't know what you call it, the cassette um, for the first time. It was nothing like the shock that I thought it would be. Um, so yeah, if, it's, uh, if that's how it is each time then happy days. Um, I've got to say the facilities here are superb. Whoever is looking after maintaining and cleaning this place, they are doing a superb job. So anyway, let's get a couple of hours um, cruising under our belt and see where we get to tonight. <laughs> 